The last example that we are going to use is another flower example, again, with irises. The data set iris comes as a part of R as a built-in data set. So all we have to do is run this line to have access to it. The data set consists of data from several species. The species that we're going to pay attention to is Iris setosa, so we need to only read in lines 1 through 50. Also, we are going to only look at the petal length and the petal width, so we only want columns 3 and columns 4. I can subset the data for only those rows and columns with this command. You see that the data frame that I've created has only those two columns and only 50 rows, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and make a plot of the data so we can see what it looks like. It does look like it is a positive correlation, not particularly tight, however. I will go ahead and run the correlation test and look at the results. There is a positive correlation, relatively weak. It is statistically significant. However, we have not tested whether this meets the multivariate normal requirement in order for this to be a valid test. So I will run the MVN function on the data. The normal quantile plots aren't particularly easy to interpret, so I'm going to go ahead and create histograms. The histogram for petal length looks pretty good, but the histogram for petal width looks pretty bad. It's quite a bit skewed to the right. If I view the results of the MVN test, I can see that overall it's not multivariate normal. And the reason it's not multivariate normal is because of the individual Shapiro-Wilkes test that was done on the pedal width. The pedal width, which is this problematic one over here, is not normal. And that makes the entire thing not be multivariate normal. I can attempt to fix the problem by transforming the pedal width. In the past, when we had situations where this, the histogram was skewed to the right, we could try to fix that by doing a log transformation. So I'm going to transform the width by taking the log at the pedal width and then create a new data frame called transf that will be made using the transmute command. If I look at that data frame, the transformed width is now in log units, but the pedal length has not changed. When I run the multivariate test now, the histogram of the pedal length is similar to what it was before. The transformed width is not as skewed, but it still doesn't look particularly normal because it has this big blob and then these empty spots in here. And if we check the multivariate normal test for that one, we see that it is not multivariate normal, once again, because the transformed width fails the Shapiro-Wilkes test. Since we cannot get this to work with a parametric test, we may have to throw in the towel and try a non-parametric test. In a situation where you're unable to fix problems with multivariate normality, through a transformation. There are non-parametric alternatives to the correlation test. There are two of these that are fairly well known. The Kendall rank correlation test is probably the best one. It's a little more robust and less sensitive to error. You run it by doing core.test, but you use the argument method equals Kendall. The other one, which is actually probably more well known, is the Spearman rank correlation test. It's in common use, but experts seem to think it's not quite as good as the Kendall test. You run it in basically the same way, except that for the method argument, you specify Spearman. Usually, these two tests give similar results. 
Let's go ahead and run the Kendall and Spearman rank correlation test. I'm going to run them with the untransformed petal width because since the transformation didn't help, I, there's no point in trying that. For the method argument, I'm going to pass in the string Kendall. When I run the test, the results show positive correlation, but the p-value is 0 0.06. It's no longer significant. If I run the Spearman test, I get very similar results along with a warning about ties, not allowing me to have an exact p-value. Once again, my p-value is over 0 0.05 and the correlation estimate was similar to what I had before. So unfortunately, switching over to a non-parametric test has caused me to lose some of my statistical power. And it's possible that if I were able to do some different transformation that would make the data pass the normality test, the, it, the parametric test might have enough power in order to cause the p-value to be less than 0.05. But for now, I just have to say that the correlation is not significant.